Hello everybody and welcome to The Hump. We have very exciting things in store, including talking all things generosity. Let me introduce you to our lovely panel. Meg, hello. Hi. Julius. Shalom. And I almost said Jimmy. <laughs> Close enough. I'm Jimmy. Jimmy or Jason will do. Mm. Before we begin, let's check out today's news. One time Playroom stage manager Mick James passed away last Saturday after battling cancer. Well known on the Gold Coast, Mick did a lot of design and installation work and will be sorely missed. He'll be seen off this Friday at an event, details on the screen here. Meanwhile, the just completed Infocom uh, also featured the news of a big change for Biamp distribution in Australia, which now goes to Midwich. It's a bit of a blow for Hills, who had maybe five to seven million dollars turnover on that brand. That's all. Designed for smaller and mid-sized projects and venues, MA.2 offers advanced functionality with outstanding ease of use. Full tracking backup is available via plug and play networking. The DOT2 range is suitable for most theater, touring, corporate, television, and education lighting environments. Discover the free DOT2 on PC software and the free DOT2 3D visualization software. Test it for yourself. Now, talking things generosity mm. today, um, I feel like we're in a day and age where I would like to see more of this, especially on your first date. I feel like it's almost acceptable that... You, why are you laughing at a Mary, first date? why are you going out on first date? Look, it wasn't that long ago <laughs> that I was in the dating scene. Okay. And I feel like it was either way, you know, you could go paying it. But so, I, hang on. You're mm. saying the blokes wouldn't pay? I'm saying the blokes should be generous. They should pay. But that's, you know, being generous Well, then they might expect you well. to be generous. Ah, yes. Oh. But in saying that, can I, my son was generous on his very first date oh. out of my pocket because I paid for his <laughs> ticket and her ticket. Still generous. I didn't very, want her to be generous, generous thank you. you. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Right. I, I tend to be quite optimistic. I think we, we actually do live in a very generous time. I mean, uh, when I was learning my trade, because there's not a lot of, like, sort of educational pathways into our production industry. It was the older people that I worked with who, you know, took the time mm. to explain how to do things, why to do things, you know, why how certain things work that they really didn't have to do. It was mm. time and energy they didn't have to expend, but they did, and that's how I learned everything. It was the older people that I worked with who'd but been doing it for long. It's, it's the older people that did that. I feel yeah. like the younger people coming through, they they wouldn't take that time. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm a, I've been trying to to do that back, and the, op the opportunities that I do have to do it. I, I do a, uh, some Good. guest lecturing at RMIT where I've, I've got this stream where I. I teach all the kids, basically all the things I didn't get taught when I was like 21 or 22, mm. mainly about different types of work that's out there that you just don't know about and different places to ring if you want, you know, experience. And, you know, I feel good about doing that. And I get, yeah. that's the other flip side of generosity. I've heard a few of these kids that I've been doing for a few years now get jobs and then start off in the industry oh, because of things that I've told them. And it feels wonderful. Yeah, so I think it's a, it's a, you know, enlightened self-interest, I think the Dalai Lama calls it. It's like mm. you get something out of it too because yeah. it feels good. But yeah, yeah I, I met, I met um, a, a peer at an acting class and she was so generous in giving me all the information about agents and acting classes and tutors and everything in the acting industry. And I was surprised because mm. I was under the impression that because we're kind of the same category, that she would be very close. Mm. You know, well, you're competing. Mm. Well, yeah, competing. Well, mm. It kind of doesn't work that way. But yeah, she was so generous in, in spirit. But on the same time, I had someone that was also in that sort of bracket, one way street, totally mm. one way street. Therefore, I don't want to share that with them. Whereas someone else that's keen and wanting to know, I will, I, like, I want to pay it forward. And that's mm. how you learn, just from other people's mistakes and experience. And so for me, I'm quite generous with, with that, as long as I get a, I don't know, get a bit good a feel about them. Mm. No, 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 not a kickback, <laughs> but just, you know, that, that the um, dragon lady, she was just like the vampire. Mm. And she's like, no, I don't want to share that with yeah. you. Mm. Give and take. Give and take. 
Uh, Julius, you were saying that, uh, that that wasn't always the case in, in our No, industry. there used to be a lot of siloing mm. where I know this and I'm not going to tell you. And the scenario where you go into a venue and they've acquired a ridiculous piece of technology that <laughs> only they can operate. Yeah, yeah. Keeping the house tech employed. That's pretty appalling. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got all the, you know, I've got the system protected so you can't monkey with it, though. therefore mm. I have to be here. Yeah. 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 That's not generous. No, no, it's not. No. That's wrong. Mm. Yes, indeed. So let's keep generous with our time. And I think most people are, and I think that's a good thing. Mm. Mm. Okay, and we'll be back right after this. Hitachi have announced two new projector series and their first laser projector. The 5000 series are part of Hitachi's installation range, offering high resolution with up to 5800 lumens of output. They're primarily designed for classrooms, lecture halls and auditoriums. The 8000 Plus series are designed to provide maximum impact in mid to large venue applications offering a versatile array of performance enhancing features along with advanced video display technology. Output ranges from 6000 to 8000 lumens with resolution up to 1920 by 1200. Hitachi has also announced its first laser light source projector, the LPWU9750. The new laser diode light source offers approximately 20,000 hours of operation time and is maintenance free. It outputs 8000 ANSI lumens and has a contrast ratio of 20,000 to 1. Jason, you have another special report for us. I do, Julius. In physics news, strange numbers have emerged. 100% of the install industry has confirmed that it spends all of its time fixing problems caused by the rest of the industry, which mathematically proves that the industry is 200% larger than it actually is. If this is correct, then the infinite exponential increase in work and sales fixing an ever-growing percentage of the industry's dodgy installs will eventually form a black hole singularity, collapsing in on itself and disappearing up its own fundament. Theoretical models of physics then suggest another company will come along and fix it for an additional capital outlay and labour charges. <laughs> what? I know, I know. Look, I, I have conversations with companies all the time that like do installs and they're like, oh yeah, we had to go in and fix everything because the last lot that went in there, oh, they're Muppets and everything was wrong. And Everybody says that about everybody else. So it, who's right, who's wrong, who was a Muppet, who's not? Is, does that mean that when that again got fixed that that was wrong too? I don't know. We will never know. I don't know, but everybody blames everyone else. It's <laughs> just this, this like rotating blame game of craziness and I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand what you just said before. That's what I just meant. Okay, so just keep it simple, okay? Yeah. Speaking uh, of simple, hi Soph. <laughs> Hey. Well, on that note... The lack of generosity in this conversation. <laughs> wow, I just, all I wanted to do was check out some gearbox. Okay. That's all I wanted Let's to do. do. Well, Julius, the high-end systems Solar Spot Pro 2000. This is very much, to my mind, in the category of big lights. It's certainly heavy. Yes, at 41 kilos, it is certainly heavy. I think a large part of that is accounted for by the optic train which has a couple of just about everything you can think of, a couple of prisms, a couple of animation effects, yep. um, CMY, CMY colour mixing, which is interesting because this is not a discharge fixture. 8 to 45 degree beam spread. Yep. Now the light source in this, tell us about what's going on there. 600 watt bright white, so it's 6900 degrees Kelvin, it's very blue. Yep. Um, we but, do have linear CTO to bring that back yeah. down to match it with other things. Well, there may just be three of us here on the panel <laughs> next week, but 
<laughs> Let's stay generous, shall we? Okay. I love you. Yes, yes. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.